In this video, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your GoDaddy domain over to Hostinger. Now, this is going to be a complete guide. I'll show you everything that you need to do. So follow along. So what you first want to do is go to GoDaddy, log into your account. Once you've logged in, go ahead and go to my products. And here you should then see all of your domains. Maybe you've got more than one. Maybe you've just got the one. Um, but you want to scroll down to your domains and find it. Once you've found your domain, go ahead and click on manage. Alternatively, if you want to see all your domains, click on manage all. Because I've only got one domain though, I'll just click on manage and that should take me into the domain dashboard. Okay, so here I am in the domain dashboard. Now the next thing I'm going to do is copy my domain and then head over to Hostinger. And what I'm going to do is log in to my Hostinger account. So now I'm logged into Hostinger. Now we can go ahead and go to domains. And here on domains, you then want to go to transfer an existing domain. Now to transfer a domain, you're going to need to make sure that the domain has been registered for 60 days already. The domain is unlocked, which I'll show you how to do. And you need an authorization code, which again, I'll show you how you can do and get it from GoDaddy. So first, what we need to do is paste in our domain name into the enter a domain for transfer box here. So go ahead and enter in your domain name and then click transfer. Now you can see the domain is currently locked to GoDaddy. And what we're going to do is we're going to simply unlock this. So if you go to GoDaddy, you then go ahead and go to manage domain. You can then scroll all the way down to the bottom of this page and you can see you've got domain lock. Now what we're going to do is turn this off. So it's going to tell you here that you agree to unlock your domain. We're going to continue here. And there we go. We've now disabled the domain lock. So now we just need to get Hostinger to recognize that we've unlocked it. So we'll click check again and see if it recognizes it. Now maybe Hostinger is going to be a bit, a bit weird and not recognize that you've unlocked it, right? If that's the case, what I recommend you do is just close out of it completely and maybe start over again if you have to. So I'm going to head back to Hostinger and re-log into my account. So we're going to go back to domains and we're going to transfer an existing domain paste in the domain name again, click transfer. And there you go. You can see now it's ready for transfer and we're all good. So now we want to click on purchase and it's going to give you some payment details here. So you can see we're paying £8.99 $8 for the domain transfer. Um, go ahead and edit your payment method, choose your payment method and then complete that payment. I'm just going to choose PayPal here because it's easier for me. Okay, so now I've completed that payment. We've now got notification on the home page and the billing page. So if you go to billing, it should then ask you for an authorization code. Now you should only have one of these in billing and that should be your domain transfer. So remember we're transferring here this domain knowledgebasehub.com. So go ahead and click on knowledgebasehub.com or I'm going to click on it. In your case, click on your domain, obviously click setup. It will then ask you to select an existing profile. So choose your address here that you want to add, or you can obviously add a new one, then click select and continue. Now it's going to ask you for an authorization code, which we can get from GoDaddy. So go to GoDaddy. Um, you're on your domains dashboard. Remember you want to then scroll down and you want to click here, transfer to another registrar. So click on that. You now need to go ahead and scroll down, continue with transfer. And it's going to say click here to get authorization code. Click on that and you've then got your authorization code, which you can copy to clipboard, right? Now we've got this copied. We can now go into Hostinger and paste in your authorization code. Now you can choose the DNS record. So if you've already got your DNS record set up on GoDaddy, you can choose to keep these name servers. If you just want to set this up on Hostinger, just leave it as default and then click transfer domain. So I'm going to tell you that the domain transfer has started and there you go. Within five to seven business days, that domain will be transferred over. So if you click continue, it will take you to your domains. You can see that the status is currently transferring. So just wait and your domain will appear in your domain section. 